big event happening Thursday out in Hermitage that I'm uh, humbled to be a part of, the opening of a brand new, a brand new Blood Assurance brick and mortar store. With that, let's bring in Max Winnitz from Blood Assurance. Uh, we love Max having on the show. We love Blood Assurance in Middle Tennessee. Max, how are you, buddy? Um, I have a bone to pick with you. I, 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 I'd, I'd be better if. Coxitani Phil wasn't above me in your rundown this morning. Um, so, yeah, I'm a little disturbed by that. I'll blame the intern for that. Um, and I'll also blame the intern. You said all he does is daydream. It took me how long to get a link for this this show? I think um, about 36 hours. Yeah, yeah. I'm, ju I'm just kidding. Uh, uh, glad to see both of you guys. Uh, things are going great. And, uh, yeah, thanks for the, uh, the plug for uh, tomorrow's uh, event. In, in hermitage well here it is an intern's leaving you know he says he's sorry for that matt <laughs> okay uh, i got a our consultant sent me a note this morning and says you better you better do nothing but hard news and pucks to tony phil so i threw my phone away <laughs> can i do, can i just add one more thing that's not blood assurance related sure. um I, I noticed i don't know if you did this intentionally but i noticed uh in your impression during the comic that it was uh, an impression of somebody that we know um who was both uh <laughs> who was our both our, our boss at, at one time that's a, that's as far as i'll go on that one but it sounded very very similar to the impression you usually do no of this person that our former boss sounded like Bob Hope, and you are absolutely <laughs> correct. If we could write a book on that man, my goodness, yeah. there'd be two people laughing, you and me, and that's all that matters. To that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, it's weird. We had this weird connection. Uh, for those that know, Max yeah. has a boss, a former boss, the same boss that I used to have, and then we kind of got together and talked about it and laughed for uh, yeah. a while about that. So good. All right, so Max, so tomorrow, Blood Assurance opening a brand new place in Hermitage. Uh, this is number seven around Middle Tennessee. Number six, uh, we do have a seventh in the works opening up sometime in the next couple of months uh, in Bellevue. Uh, so Hermitage is number six. All right. So having a brick and mortar like this, what's the biggest benefit for blood assurance for you guys having something like this? Sure. Uh, well, for our donors, it provides a really comfortable atmosphere versus a, a blood mobile um you walk in the door you get to uh sit in a comfortable interview room to go through a q a with one of our phlebotomists and then you'll go into the uh really really comfortable chair uh to donate blood um other than that we are opening these facilities in areas that we have um, hospitals in this case um with with hermitage tristar summit uh is right there that's a hospital we supply to uh in down in cool springs which we opened uh last year uh williamson medical center we supply to them so we try to open brick and mortar facilities uh in close proximity to the hospitals we supply blood to uh, and again, I'll give my testimony that I'm scared of needles, but by the time I got in, gave blood and gave out uh, and got out of there, it was, I felt like I didn't, I mean, I did I, like I didn't do anything. It's that easy and that simple. And I got to give a shout out to the staff and the nurses. Yeah, you guys are fantastic, Max. Yeah, easiest way in the world to make a difference in somebody's life. Um, and, you know, you're, you're a perfect example of somebody going into it. And I, I hope you don't mind me saying this, somebody nope. going into it a little bit. I don't want to say fearful, but uh, I know it had been a long time since you, you had done it. But um, you can explain um, just just how easy of a process uh, it is and how good you felt afterwards. Uh, and that's part of the reason why um, we we decided to ask you to, you know, MC our, our ribbon cutting the, um, tomorrow. You know, you're Big Joe, but you got a big heart. Uh, so we're excited to uh, to have you MC that event. It's going to make me cry, Max. It's only 7.22 <laughs> in the morning. You can't do that to me. I, I tell people all the time, Max, when they got businesses and nonprofits, how crucial a website is. And the Blood Assurance website is perfect for directing you where you need to go, how you can donate, the location that you have. So kudos to your web team. Let them know that what a fantastic website. Yeah, it's it's so easy uh, for for those of, uh, for your listeners, your viewers who haven't been to the uh, website yet. Um, bloodassurance.org slash schedule. That is the easiest way to schedule an appointment at any of our mobile blood drives or our brick and mortar facilities. You just plug in your zip code, uh, the date you want to give and the nearest blood drives, donation centers, 
to that zip code will pop up uh, on your screen. And uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention, you know, where we have our brick and mortar facilities other than Hermitage and Cool Springs, which I've already mentioned here in Middle Tennessee, Columbia, uh, Cookville, Clarksville, Tullahoma. And I'm, pro am I missing one more, Joe? Cookville, Columbia, Clarksville, Tullahoma. I feel like I'm missing one. Cool Springs, Hermitage. There Is that go. six? That's six. You got it. Okay. In. All right. Yeah. It's early. It's early. Sorry. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, it is. Early. Are we still in a critical supply or shortage for uh, blood right now again? Yeah, it's it's not ending anytime soon, um, unfortunately. In fact, yesterday we had a, a trauma take place somewhere in our service area, and there is a huge demand right now for A positive blood. Uh, so if you are uh, an A positive uh, donor, we need you stat. So please sign up. Uh, uh, to schedule your appointment. And of course, uh, we're always in need of just about every other type of blood. Uh, you know, typo is, is certainly in demand. We need typo donors. Um, you know, the inclement weather, the snowstorms we've had over the past several weeks, uh, along with uh, the uptick in COVID cases has really created sort of this, this perfect storm. We've had so many blood drives canceled. Uh, we've had... Uh, a large number of, of no-shows, people who have scheduled appointments who have just not shown up for, um, you know, a, a, a variety of reasons. Um, so, yeah, the blood supply remains critically low um, as of yesterday. In fact, let me look real quick. Don't have our numbers yet today, but as of yesterday, we had less than uh, a two-day supply of most wow. blood types. Um, so we really need this community to, to step up. That's amazing. And also something you guys do too is sign up for uh, the text alerts and mm -hmm. you send them where you get where the blood drive that's going on somewhere close to you in the area. Uh, and you guys do that really well. Some companies take advantage of having your phone number and they'll text you a thousand times. You guys do it perfectly. Just letting us know every once in a while where there's a blood drive in the area. And if we need to stop by and do that. So again, so tell yeah. your text team that they're doing a fantastic job with that great great yeah yeah we we try to keep everybody in the loop we try to notify everybody um when it's their time to to donate blood like if you donated whole blood two months ago you may receive a text saying okay you're due to to donate um again now um i will say right now the incentive being offered we're giving away um it's like a valentine's day themed t-shirt um it's red um and i think it says something about heartthrob on it but it, it's it's a it's really neat um also i do want to mention that sure. if you donate at our hermitage facility 4686 lebanon pike uh tomorrow's the last day uh but you will be entered into a uh, a drawing to win tickets to the upcoming stadium series uh, hockey game at Nissan uh, featuring the Preds and the uh, Lightning. So we actually have uh, eight tickets. We're giving away two tickets to uh, one person. So we're giving away, you know, four sets of, of tickets uh, for, you know, a lucky for lucky donors who have donated with us since I believe it was January 25th up until tomorrow. Nice. Well done. Uh, tomorrow's event, the opening in Hermitage, open to the public, correct? Correct. 11 a.m., 4686 Lebanon Pike, refreshments, Joe Dubin. I mean, per perfect combination. What more do you need, right? <laughs> exactly. It's free. I yeah. should start charging people for uh, <laughs> come out and see me. Uh, Max, again, thank you. I know it's early morning. You do a great job. You work nonstop. Thank you for this. We'll see you tomorrow. And again, the open invitation is always there to anytime you need anything for blood assurance to get the word out just let us know buddy appreciate it as always looking forward to seeing you tomorrow intern good to see you too my friend take care all right thank you it's max when it's from blood assurance uh they've come into our community and just done such a great job we did intern and i did a story back last fall about a, a wife of a sheriff's deputy or detective in Williamson County who's battling cancer and they set up a nice blood drive one day and there's so many people came out to donate and blood assurance was a big part of all that so we're really pleased that they're in our community.